Hello everyone. So welcome to the next session. I've taken back to back sessions. So welcome to the next session. That is session number forty. And today we'll talk about the proceedings that they have taken after the civil disobedience movement has been withdrawn. And they are talking about the Gandhi Irvin uh, Pact, Delhi Pact. Gandhi Irvin talks in Delhi Pact. now that has again to be endorsed uh, in a particular session of the congress that we have seen just like the nehru report was being um, approved in the congress session similarly the gandhi irvin pact will be approved in a session so let us talk about the summary of the session first so in the session we'll talk about the acceptance of the gandhi gandhi irvin pact or we can say delhi pact now simultaneously one thing happened that will be acceptance will be done in the karachi session now the karachi session when the acceptance will be done this session will be taken up 29th of march it will be a special session 1931 on 23rd march what happened 1931 the hanging of the bhagat singh and his comrades so when gandhi ji will be there to attend the karachi session he will be booed and the black flags will be given to him because of the same point that we have discussed if you will see gandhi movie 1982 that movie will uh, showcase that how gandhi was booed and black flags were given and especially by the hindu mahasabha they said that the gandhi could have pushed for the commutation of the bhagat singh while uh, bargaining with the lord irwin right so this will be done now congress had decided to participate in the second round table conference first round table conference was an eye wash nothing happened british realized that congress uh, a need is very very important for any significant development to take place congress has taken some uh, conditions to participate in rtc they participate in rtc but some situations change when the rtc second was going on some situations have changed and because of which second rtc also yields no result whatsoever when the rtc2 also result does not uh, uh, lead to any results gandhi ji goes to india and gandhi ji returns to india from england and he launches the second phase of the cdm but this time the gong the government is not in dilemma last time they, they, they according to them that they have committed a mistake what mistake they have committed they have signed this delhi pact because delhi pact has done what it has increased the prestige of the congress it has decreased the prestige of the british now this time british are not in the conciliatory mode they will say no we will not conciliate and they will go on the full full scale repression meanwhile very important development will happen that is the communal award will be given by the macdonald the leader and then the pune pact will be signed so today we will discuss this journey till the pune pact theek uske baad we'll move to the next theme and next theme theme number 7 and we'll talk about the period from the 1934 to the 1942 time theek hai chalo so we talk about the karachi session what happened in the karachi session karachi session may may march uh, 1931 after the six days of before the session bhagat singh sukhdev and rajguru was executed gandhi on the route to karachi he was greeted with a black demonstration flag by both punjab punjab naujawan sabha naujawan bharat sabha and also the hindu mahasabha also then karachi session what happened very important session sardar vallabh bhai patel was the president at this session it was an special session because it was organized in the march so the major work which was done it's it endorsed the gandhi irvin pact that is the gandhi irvin or delhi pact first second they accepted the goal of the purna swaraj they reiterated the goal of the purna swaraj okay then the two resolutions were being passed that is resolution on the fundamental right and the resolution on the national economic program very very important so ha uh, uh, sorry so they disapproved ha uh, they disapproved and dissociated themselves from whatever the political violence that is happening for example the revolutionary activities uh, uh, chandrashekhar azad being dead so no he will be committing some something is happening he is not dead yet not been uh, captured yet. captured he was not captured he shot himself in alfred park in the allahabad so congress dissociated themselves but they did talk about the bravery and the sacrifice of these three martyrs right those who have been hanged 
so this is an important line that to remember so endorse this pact goal of the pure swaraja that was there in the last uh, session then resolution for the fundamental rights again and resolution on the national economic program thoda sa inko dekhte hain ke points ko resolution on fundamental rights for example free freedom is uh, free speech and free press right to perform association right to form association right to assemble the same fundamental rights similar equal legal rights irrespective of caste creed and sex neutrality of state in the religious matter free and compulsory primary education protection of culture language script of minority and the linguistic group then the resolution of national economic program a substantial reduction in the rent and the revenue in the case of landlords and peasant exemption for rent for the uneconomic land holding relief for agriculture indebtedness control of usury and you can see more it is easy mainly they want us that what was there in between matlab what are the points in the national economic program and this they asked that in which session it was being discussed and who was the president at this session very important significant that it was the first time that is they spelled out the what is what is the meaning of swaraj for them what does swaraj even mean they say in order to end the exploitation of the masses political freedom must include the economic freedom of the starving millions karachi session in a sense basic political and economic program of the congress in the later year influencing the constitution of india later on okay fine and let's go a bit back into the past remember lord erwin he when he talked about the that rtc needs to be given an rtc will provide after the erwin statement the erwin declaration right so he agreed that round table conferences will be taken a round table conferences we have discussed the three round table conference will be there second first second and the third round table conference will be there only in the second round table conference congress will participate 1930 1931 1932 tick so so they uh, see agreed that the round table conferences should be held as the recommendations of simon commission were clearly inadequate simon commission's now report has come and they have been inadequate or they have been based upon the past premises first round table conference very quickly november 1930 to january 1931 it was the first conference arranged between the british and the indians as equals congress and some prominent business leader refused to attend but many other groups of indians were represented at the conference a lot of capitalists also refused to attend it saying that if the congress does not attend it we won't attend it right so that is one of the achievements of the capitalist or the contribution of the capitalist to the national movement that they solidified or they put solidarity with the congress at any very important footing so it, a lot of people were there in the round table conference if you go into the spectrum and you read about all the indian princely states are represented muslim league hindu mahasabha sikh parsi women depressed class depressed class b r ambedkar represented them justice party labors government of india being represented so the representative of almost all section of society are being there but uh, your uh, gandhi ji and your congress is not there and uh, nothing much was achieved at the conference as you discussed it was generally agreed that india was to develop into a federation there needs to be safeguard and everything but nothing was done but uh, little was done to implement these recommendation and in india what was continuing the civil disobedience movement is continuing right after the gandhi dandi march and everything is on the full flow british government realized the participation of the indian national congress was necessary in any discussion on the future of the constitutional development in india if if they are really serious about the constitutional advancement of the india they need to involve indian national congress and they need to make the reconciliatory gestures and we have seen those reconciliatory gestures in the talk of the lord irwin when he talked about the gandhi irwin pact <laughs> so then we talk about a second round table conference to member of the indian political party such as tej bahadur sapru c y chintamani and all these people appeal to gandhi to talk to the viceroy then delhi pact happened second round table conference date september 1 to uh, 1931 to december 1931 right indian national congress nominated gandhi as its sole representative and the madan mohan malvi and ranga swami ayangar was also there so indian national congress did participate and gandhi was their representative but due to some changes nothing was much expected why 
the government which was there in the if you remember in 1929 we have discussed the election happened before that conservative government after that minority government similarly in 1931 another election happened and another government has been formed that is the national government so national government the mixture of the conservatives and the labors when they mix up obviously two different ideologies they were there so in the time of the great depression imagine also consider that this is a time of the great depression 1931 that is a time of the peak of the great depression also there is spreading to the europe and the other countries now the great depression is spreading and they formed this national government now this national government was very weak they were not able to take very strong decisions lord erwin was being replaced by lord wellington british angered by the revolutionary activities which were still happening in india churchill who was there churchill said that negotiation with the congress on an equal footing is very very wrong we should not let that happen gandhi claimed to represent the all sections of society but all sections of society did not agree to it that they do not believe that gandhi represent us gandhi believed that i am the representative of the whole india but all the sections all the different different sections which were present they did not believe in that many delegate disagreed with gandhi the deadlock on the question of minority was there that who will be this minority whether the depressed class or minority are not princes themselves were not very enthusiastic so the round table conference ended with the mcdonalds announcement that two muslim majority provinces north west western frontier and the sindh will be created slowly the setting up of an indian consultative committee remember that was also the recommendation of the simon commission setting up of the three expert committee finance franchise and states the prospects of the unilateral british communal award if indian fails to agree the government refused to agree sorry government refused to concede to the basic indian demand of the freedom and gandhi ji returned to india in december 28 1931 so nothing significant happened in the second round table conference also third round table conference again not important because it was ignored by the many other indians in 1932 to 30 from sit november to december 1932 some of the leaders who have attended the third round table conference br ambedkar attended all the all the round table conference mohammad iqbal nm joshi who represented the labor tej bahadur sapru represented the liberals mr jaikar represented the hindu communal interests again like in the two previous conference little was achieved recommendations were published in the white paper in the march 13 1933 and debated in the british parliament onwards now based upon these things whether it is a simon commission report round table conferences and the white paper which was being released on that the finally they will come up with the government of india act of 1935 we'll look at the government of india act in the next se- next session or next to next session a joint select committee was being formed a joint select committee was being formed to analyze the recommendation on formulate the new act for india the committee produced a draft bill in 1935 and finally government of india act was made thick now what is happening in india gandhi ji returned gandhi ji returned and he returned very empty handed from the second round table conference when he returns from the empty handed from the second round table conference he comes to india and he said that restart the cdm said let us resume the civil disobedience movement because now british are no more no more they are not serious these people are not serious to do any serious constitutional development for india hence we should continue our civil disobedience movement now what was happening during the truce period some activity during the period of march to december 1931 kept alive the spirit of the defiance for example in nwfp non west western frontier we have talked about the khudai khidmatgar severe repression has been unleashed against the khudai khidmatgar and the peasant led by them were agitating against the brutal method of tax collection in bengal draconian or ordinance and the mass detention have been used in the name of fighting terrorism in september 1931 firing incidents and all these things these events small small events are not important huh now the idea that we have discussed now the second phase of the cdm has been launched now the british have seen that the commit the mistake that we have committed in our first thing that is the delhi pact in the gandhi riven pact 
they say that because of that pact our prestige has decreased congress prestige has increased what about people people morale is increased they are saying that now congress is at the equal footing at the british now see they are equate they are uh, con- uh, talking to each other so government has decided to res- re- uh, reverse this gandhi would not be permitted to build up any tempo for the mass movement they have decided it the good will of the congress will not be required we don't require not the good will of the congress they have decided no not at all we don't have to appease congress or we don't have to talk to congress we what we need is the now they have seen they have seen with the <clears throat> jinnah 14 point they have seen the round table conference in the round table conference they have seen the reaction of the simon commission they know now there is a lot of dissension within the national movement a lot of people are now not is with the congress there are a lot of centrifugal tendencies and different different separate interests are there they say that we only require the support of the loyalist and the government servants that's all those who are supporting us will support them and that's all we don't require congress national movement would not be allowed to consolidate itself in the rural areas we will not allow the rural areas to be affected by the national movement hence quickly they will arrest the gandhi after the cwc decided to resume the civil disobedience movement voice wellington refused to meet gandhi on december 31 and finally january 4 1932 gandhi was arrested okay government put up a lot of repressive ordinances were being issued hai na uh, civil martial laws have been created congress organizations at all level have been banned arrest made of the activist leaders empathize the property confiscated gandhi ashram was occupied so very very serious repression very harsh on women press was gagged national award national literature everything is banned obviously people will be very angry to it that what is this happening people responded with anger a lot of people filled the jail hai na more than 80000 satyagrahis were jailed other form of the protests were also their picketing illegal gathering non violent demonstration symbolic hosting of the national flag flag satyagraha non payment of the chaukidar attacks and all these things also happened obviously people will be angry what is this happening but this phase of the civil disobedience movement you can say this civil disobedience movement 2.0 coincided co- 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 with the upsurge in the two princely states in the kashmir and the alwar some happening happened but overall it was a cold affair now the question it begs the question but that why it could not be sustained for long first gandhi and the other leaders have no time to build up the tempo you see gandhi came on 28th december and 29 they launched it and a fourth he was arrested so he had find he found no time no to little time to uh, build up a movement build up a movement and uh, aware masses remember in 1929 we have discussed how gandhi has used and gandhi has used that year to build up the momentum for the civil disobedience movement and this time he did not get that much time So finally, in April 1934, Gandhi decided to withdraw the civil disobedience movement. People have been cowed down by the superior force. They had not lost the faith in the Congress. They had won the freedom in their hearts. As I said, see, nine and the good, good lines. So civil disobedience finally comes to an end in April 1934. In between, a major event that is happening that is the communal award has been given announced by the British government. What do you mean by communal award being announced? Now the demands of the RTC. for example a lot of demand have been there in the rtc by the depressed class by the other classes that we should also be given separate electorate we should be given this we should be given that so government said okay fine we will give you the communal award so a lot of classes got the separate electorates so muslim european sikh indian christian anglo indian depressed class marathas were able to get the separate electorates in the provincial legislature the seats have been in- distributed on the communal basis the existing seat on the provincial legislature have been doubled the muslim were in minority to be granted the weightage so the press class will get the double vote first as a separate electorate and second in the general electorate so basically it was a manifestation of the divide and rule policy of the british divide within the hindus the depress class and the other class the top class upper class now the one of the proponent of the depress class and the separate electorate demand of the separate electorate for the but depress class was from the b r ambedkar what he believed in he believed in the idea that if the separate electorate is given then their representative will be there and they will be to do the work for the depress class 
because the because according to him the upper class have only and only exploited the depressed class forever and we do not we can and the depressed class cannot trust on the upper class in the joint electorates if everything is common hence we need to have our own separate electorate some reservation was also given to the women ठीक then what about the congress stand on the communal award they thought they thought to oppose do oppose to the separate electorate congress was not in the favor of changing the communal awards without the consent of the minorities so they thought that we need to have the consent of the minorities because minorities were gaining a lot from the communal awards if the congress will not favor if the congress strongly disagree against the communal award what the image will come that the congress is a party of the upper class or some specific interests or the majoritarian interest not of the minority interest so minority can never ever align them their interest with the congress while the songre disagreeing with the communal award congress decided neither to accept it nor to reject it see okay. the effort to separate the depressed class from the rest of the hindus by treating them as a separate political ent entity was vehemently criticized by the nationalist that is that within the hindu you are dividing the depressed class this is wrong and gandhi ji was at very very furious gandhi ji in fact was very furious had in the round table conference as well when the talk of the obviously the talks have happened in the round table conferences that the depressed class should be given the separate electorate by the representative of the depressed class gandhi ji was very furious gandhi said no 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 if you do this communal award it will harmful for hinduism as a whole it breaks the unity of the hinduism and it is also harmful for the depressed class it may look to you that it is a good for thing for you but it is not it will make them untouchability in perpetuity it is like an untouchability in perpetuity they say the question of abolishing the untouchability now is gone because you are being awarded for being this this was the line of argument of the gandhi ji they say it's an attack on indian unity and indian nationalism so he talked about that there needs to be a joint electorate and we can provide reservation to the uh, reservation to the depressed class just like in the present time you know reservation is there he said that yes we can provide the reservation to the depressed class but we cannot provide the separate electorate to the reserve class and he went on a indefinite fast on the september 20 1932 now the leaders of the various persuasion now there is a lot of pressure on the leaders such as b r ambedkar and other leaders to persuade gandhi ji if gandhi ji dies then imagine what will happen so b r ambedkar was finally caught down and he signed the pact with manmohan malviya and compromise were being done compromise was being done that they will get the reservation so b r ambedkar on the behalf of the depressed class signed the pune pact it abandoned the idea of the separate electorate for the depressed class now the separate electorate for the depressed class will not be given but the seat reserved for the depressed class were increased from 71 to 147 so the the seats which were reserved for depressed class have been increased to 18% in total of the central legislature so the seats have been increased the reservation has increased to 18% that's a good thing and the pune pact was accepted by the government as an amendment to the communal award when the indian leaders are saying okay just put this one more amendment the government ne kaha theek hai we'll put this as an amendment so government has amended the communal award joint electorate and the impact on the depressed class the joint committee on the all india scheduled class federation obviously they will say no no this is wrong they say that the system of the joint electorate deprive the scheduled caste the right to self rule and effective representation we have discussed that the committee said the provision of the joint electorate gave the hindu majority virtual right to nominate the members of the scheduled caste they say agar ye joint electorate hai and if there is one seat is reserved for the scs so the upper class people will Uh, will pick and choose okay the he is my guy and they will do that so a true and effective representation will not come see and even after signing the pune pact br ambedkar continued to denounce the pune pact till 1947 theek okay? hai so till now that's the end of the session a relatively smaller session today we had so today in the session we talked about the today we talked about if you talk about the session number 13 and 40 both we talked that we started with the simon commission we talked about nehru report the sanction on the nehru report then we talked about how true and fro they went in that very turbulent period 1928 to 1932 gandhi irwin and irwin delhi manifesto fir irwin 
then irvin agreeing then first by cutting the first rtc doing the lahore resolution then again going for the second rtc then coming back then civil disobedience 2.0 being launched again repressed why it was repressed then communal award then communal award me gandhi is objection to it then pune pact being signed so with this we finish today's session as well uh, we'll continue with the theme 7 in the next session theme session 7 we'll enter into a very very important phase that is the 1930s now we are done with 1920s now we are entering into the 1930s and in the 1930s we'll talk about uh, in the very next session we'll talk about the strategic debate again which is coming what is the debate now again everyone is in jail again repression being done again a movement is being taken up the similar situation which was being faced after the swadeshi movement after the non cooperation movement similar situation will be faced now now we will see how the situation is different from the situation which is faced in the swadeshi movement and the situation which is faced after the non cooperation movement the forages and the changers and the no changers debate again that debate will come and we'll look at it in the next session so see you all in the next session bye bye thank you